In this class, we are going to learn how to make use of XSLT predicate function in Oracle Integration 3. You might have usually come across a scenario wherein you have a sample something like this. I am considering over here a JSON sample. You might have a XML sample. Like suppose it will look something like this. I have considered the similar data in both JSON and the XML over here. I am having details for four people over here in the array. If you see over here, I am having a JSON array. Within that, I am having an object which will hold the details for four different individuals. Every individual in this array is having a particular quality or the property. Like they will have an ID, they will have a name and the city of residence. Here ID will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and the name are unique for each person we are considering over here for the use case and the city of residence are also unique. Now suppose if you want to fetch the details of a person which comes first in an array or last in an array or second, third, so and so forth things. We will see how to do that in this class. For demonstration purpose, I have considered this integration which I have exposed over a REST protocol. Request and the response I am making use of the same JSON over here. Now in order to make use of XSLT function, we are going to open our mapper because mapper in our Oracle integration 3 is making use of XSLT 2.0 version. If you want to verify just switch over to the code view and verify that it is making use of the version 2.0. It's over here. If you see, I'm hovering with the help of mouse over here. You can see version is 2.0. At the time of recording this class, the version is 2.0. But by the time you watch this class, it might have upgraded to 3.0 by Oracle. Now let me just come back to this use case. In the request, if I expand, as I told, I have exposed this integration over a REST protocol using the same JSON. So we are seeing the properties that is ID, name and the city over here in the request. In the response, what we will do is we will map ID to ID. Now this is an array. We will not go into depth over here. Suppose I am mapping ID to ID. I didn't use any predicate. So I will tell you how to use the predicate and what is predicate as well. Now suppose I will go to this test mapper and generate some sample data. Integration is creating some dummy data. We don't want that data. We are making use of the R1 data, which is having a unique ID name and the city. Let me copy paste the same over here and click on execute. Here if you see, we are seeing one, two, three, four because it is fetching all the ID element nodes and mapping over here. Suppose we want to fetch only ID of the person whose details are first in an array. So in this case, ID is one. We have to fetch this Raj information. That is, if we use the predicate, it should show only ID of Raj. So in order to do that, what we have to do is we have to just click on this, click this expression view. In the items, what we have to do is we have to tell we want to fetch only the first item in the array and the ID we have to map over here. Let me just validate this. Click on the execute mapper and execute. Now here if you see instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, we are getting the ID of the first persons in the array. Now suppose if you want to fetch the ID of a third person in the array, that is this one, Usman. Let's see how to do that. I am saying I am interested in third person's ID from the array. Let me just validate. Go to the test view and click on execute. Here if you see, so it didn't reflect. Let me just validate the mapper. Sometimes it won't reflect the changes immediately. Let me again execute. Here if you see ID is saying as 3. So this is the third item in the array. Now suppose you might get a question like I have placed the details of the individual in order like 1, 2, 3, 4. Suppose my third person's ID is 2 and second person's ID is 3. Let me just shuffle this around. Now first person is ID is 1, second person's ID is 3 and third is 2. Let me just execute again. This time we are getting 2 because third person's ID is 2 this time. Similarly, if you want to fetch the name of a person who comes third in the array or fourth we will see how to do that. We will tell fourth in the array. Let me just validate. Validate the mapper. Go over to the test view and let me just execute. Now fourth person in the array is Rajesh. So that person's name we are seeing over here in the name. So like this we have to fetch the unique details of a person from the array of items in the request or the response. Now suppose if we give here 5. Here it is index out of bound. We won't be getting any details. So we don't have any fifth person in the array. Let me just validate the mapper. Go over to the test view. Let me just execute. We don't have a fifth person. So we are getting none. So another thing what you have to consider is you have to make sure your array item shouldn't be out of bound. Like if you are having four items in an array, you have to give within that range only. And also another thing here, the array index starts from one and not from zero like any other programming languages. 
in our next class we will see how to fetch the details of a person who comes last in the array with the help of predicate so in short predicate is nothing but something which is denoted with square bracket open and close is called as predicate in xslt functions